Are you diversifying your dating portfolio? Well, I'm not either, but let's see what this is about. All right, so diversify your dating portfolio. This is the first that I've heard of this. So let's see what this sounds like. So we all know in order to build wealth and become successful, you need to have diversified investments and multiple streams of income. You should be thinking of your dating life the same way. Diversify your dating portfolio so you can enjoy different experiences. Pretty much, you do not need three of the same type of guys on the roster. No. So you should at least have three guys on the roster. Got it. So here is a list of the different archetypes that I like to keep in the lineup. Number one, and my personal favorite, the very generous, very wealthy, can pay for your entire life type of guy. You're gonna eat well, travel, do some shopping, and just enjoy the finer things in life. Number two. Okay, so we're gonna start with a top 10% guy. And we want more? Okay, let's see. We have the creative, artistic, very swaggy type. You're gonna go to cool, underground, or less known type of events, meet other artists, feel very inspired very just in love with the world with this one number three okay so we got the rich top 10 percent guy then we got the artsy guy that's exciting okay so this is the second on the roster okay the guy that checks all your boxes is kind of marriage minded family oriented that type you're gonna run errands together and it's gonna feel like a date you'll go to the dog park cook together and it'll all just feel like playing house Number four. Okay, so we have the rich guy, we have the artsy guy, then we have the guy who is kind of serious about a relationship. Okay, number four. The active lifestyle, very spontaneous, always doing something. Oh, oh was that was that Giannis? Oh, 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 one guy who happens to might be uh, the NBA MVP. Okay. Very spontaneous, always doing something outdoor. Now this one you may have to go to the gym with, but you'll also do fun things like ATV riding or do jet skis, just something fun, outdoorsy, maybe go skiing, depending on where you live, the weather and what you guys like to do. Number five. Okay, so we have the top 10% guy, we have the artsy guy, we have the... Uh, what was the third one? The uh, guy who is marriage minded guy. And then we have the athletic adventurous type. Okay, number five. We have the social butterfly charismatic type. Maybe they work as like a club promoter or they're a DJ. They're always outside. So you have to have thick skin with dating this one because there's always going to be lots of other women. So if you're the jealous type, just skip this one all together. But you guys will go to very cool parties. You'll get invited to private sponsored events and you'll just get to network a lot and meet a lot of other people that like to have fun as well. Now this one, I'm, a, I'm just dipping my toe in there. I'm, I'm just trying to see if this, if this could work out for me. But number six, we have the scammers and drug dealers. But with Okay, so I, I see if I can get it right. Uh, we have the top 10% guy. We have the artistic guy. We have the... Uh, uh, commitment minded guy. We have the, oh gosh, what was the fourth one? Uh, the, the club promoter guy is the fifth one, right? The fourth guy is what? I forget. Now the sixth guy is the exciting scammer guy. Okay. Okay. All right. The good heart. But this one, you at the strip club with 5,000 ones in your hand. You at the Gucci store buying everything you want. But hopefully the ops ain't outside. I mean, actually, throw this one away. This one's not for me. I can't do it. But if you can, add it to the list. And last but not least, number six. Okay, so we, we went through the first six types, and there's one more type. So she said, remember at the beginning, she said at least have three. So at least means three or more. Okay. Seven. It's going to be a foreigner any foreigner from anywhere. This one, you're just gonna be learning a lot about a different culture, enjoying hopefully the sexy accent, trying new foods. This one is my fave, but the dating experience, it really just depends, but you will learn a lot. And a little asterisk that should be known for each of these, none of them can be poor because I'm- Okay, so 
all of these guys have to be rich. And you're going to rotate out at least three rich guys. I, I, I would have to say that this is a great time for women to date. It's a great time. I, I mean, it's a great time to be alive if you're a young woman dating in the dating market. She named seven types of guys, foreigner, promoter guy, uh, scammer, uh, rich guy. I guess I forgot. It must be nice. I, I, I can't imagine being able to live that type of lifestyle, but I more power to you, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I don't really have any words for that, to be honest with you. I, I could say something disparaging, but if she's living a life that's that exciting, I more power to her. I now can every woman live that life, that lifestyle? Of course not. Even this young lady is as pretty as she is. I'm not sure how much longer she can live that lifestyle. I, and if she's the interesting thing is that if she's rich, I'm kind of curious why she finds the need to be with another rich person instead of, I don't know. I mean, rich guys aren't necessarily looking for rich women to date, but I mean, I guess that's, it is what it is, but I want to ask you guys, are you guys looking at dating the same way that she is? Are you, are you really considering dating in a way that is similar to how you're investing in, in your investment strategy? I would say in my personal life, I would say that I don't know if I have the opportunity to do that yet because I'm not rich yet, but you know, if, if I were prettier, maybe, but that aside, are you, <laughs> do you, do you have a multi-pronged, uh, dating attack? Like you are with your investment, because if you're a pretty young girl, there's a chance or there's a pretty good chance that you're probably doing that. And that is a sign of the times. And I, there's nothing to say about it, except that's just the way it is. This is a young lady on TikTok basically saying, I have so many options that I not only can date many different types of guys, but they all have to be rich. And that is something that the average guy just can't identify with. But welcome to 2022. With that, guys, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, so here... <laughs> Funny enough, this is the video I made called What Happens When Everyone Is The Prize? And so what we're seeing now in the dating market is just there are just more and more and more women who all think that they're the prize and it's going to go somewhere. Not quite sure where it's going to go, but I analyzed some of that in this video. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe, feel free to comment, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.